What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Am I allowed to start two videos in a row with Halo Top? Of course I am. It's my, it's my YouTube channel. I can do whatever I want. Sorry it's so dark in here. The, the lighting is very like, it's very weird. My lamp behind over there, it, it broke like a few minutes ago and I don't know how to fix it. it the, the, it's not the bulb, it's just, it's just broken. I don't know what's going on. So sorry if I look like I'm coming to you in this like weird mystic lighting. Um, but we are going to start the video quickly with some Halo Top. This is the candy bar flavor. I have only had this once. I remember it being very good, but I honestly don't remember how good it was. And I know a lot of people, this is their favorite flavor. So I'm excited to try it again. Macros for the whole thing are 64 carbs, 24 protein, and 14 fat. So I eat the whole pint. Like I said in the last video, I'm team pint. Do you see a bowl over here? I don't see a bowl. I'm eating from the pint. Um, let's just do a quick taste test. Yeah, this definitely is a good flavor. I wouldn't say my favorite. I still say I like birthday cake and cookies and cream better for sure, but this is definitely a solid flavor. So I am going to eat this. Uh, the rest of this video, it's gonna be my latest lower strength workout. Uh, in the last video, I talked about uh, one of the bigger mistakes that I made, and it wasn't really a typical mistake that I really thought about. It was a little bit deeper than, than uh, like a usual fitness video. Got good feedback. So this video, I am going to talk, the color of my face is changing because the TV is on right there, by the way. I'm not like convulsing or whatever. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about one of the best decisions that I've made. And it's probably not something that you'd expect. So that's what I'll talk about during the commentary. And I hope you enjoy the video and hit that thumbs up. I do appreciate it. What's up, everyone? Welcome to my lower strength workout. Uh, so this workout, you're going to see everything I do on my lower strength day. You're going to see, uh, I'm doing four sets of squats, although I only filmed two. I also do four sets of deadlifts. There's three sets of leg press and four sets of calf raises. The reason I'm just telling you all that up front is because I don't plan to really discuss the workout as you watch it. Um, so I just want you to be aware of what I'll be doing. Um, so in my last video, I talked about the worst fitness uh, decision that I've made. And it was a little deeper than normal. It wasn't just like my typical, oh, I bulked up and got too fat. Um, so in this video, I wanted to do the same thing, but the best decision that I made. And again, I'm not going to just say, oh, yeah, but the best decision I made was switching from a bro split to upper lower. All that, that, although that was a great decision, um, I want to be a little bit uh, more meaningful than that. So first I'll tell you what it was, and then I'll backtrack a bit. So the best decision I made in regards to fitness in my life actually now is starting this YouTube channel. And let me tell you why. So I actually had the goal of starting a YouTube channel back like an undergrad, like this was years ago, uh, way back when I wanted to start it. This was before most of the fitness YouTubers that are out there now even existed. The thing is, I had it ingrained in my head being told by friends, family mostly, that fitness could be a hobby, but it's never going to be a way to actually sustain yourself, make a living. So you shouldn't put too much effort into it. It's okay to be in shape and go to the gym and all that stuff. But don't be too obsessed because it's never going to make you any money. It's never going to be anything more than just a hobby. And although it was always my passion to really be in fitness, I let other people dictate my decisions. And even though when I went to undergrad and I wanted to major in like exercise science, nutrition or something like that, again, I got convinced by other people that that was not the way to go. And despite having zero interest in business whatsoever, I majored in business and I graduated with a business degree. That led me to getting a job that I didn't really like for a few years, and I kind of felt like I was stuck on this path that I had no passion for. So I did work for a few years after college, didn't really like my job, and then I actually, I, I decided to go to law school where I'm about to finish up in May. But again, even though law is something that I'm interested in, it was never really like my number one passion. Fitness was my passion. I just thought that I, I, I was just convinced that I shouldn't pursue it further. So eventually while I was in law school, I just decided, I'm like, you know what? I wanted to have this YouTube channel for so long. I have no idea how it's gonna go, but I don't wanna look back and have the regret of not starting it. I'd much rather start it and have it completely fail and fall flat on my face with it than look back and be like, wow, I should have done it. So that's what I did. And if you guys have been following me for a little bit of time, like looking now, I only have like 5,000 subscribers. I'm nowhere near a big uh, YouTube channel. But by, by getting into the social media on YouTube, 
I began to realize that I really enjoyed Instagram a lot. I enjoyed posting every day. I enjoyed interacting with you guys. And that actually led to me growing my Instagram very, very quickly. And when I started my YouTube channel, I only had like 5,000 followers on Instagram. This was like a, not that long ago. And now I have in the 300,000 followers on Instagram. So if I did not start the YouTube channel, I wouldn't have put any effort into the Instagram. But by starting YouTube, I realized that I actually like Instagram more than YouTube. And I actually en I enjoy Instagram every single day. The interactions, I like creating content, I like helping people. I like responding to the messages, which I do on YouTube as well, but I get way more uh, messages on Instagram. So the, by, start, by just going ahead and starting the YouTube, not having any expectations, it kind of led me to find a, the, this passion of fitness on Instagram. And by growing my Instagram, it has now led to so many opportunities where I have an online coaching business. I wrote an ebook. Um, I have some sponsors. So all these opportunities have started to open up just because I just took that first step forward and started the YouTube channel. So my advice to you guys, it doesn't have to be a YouTube channel. It doesn't have to be social media. But if there's something that you're trying to do, if there's something you're passionate about, there's something you've always wanted to try, just go ahead and just take, a, just take the first step and just do something. You don't know where, this, where that's going to lead. I didn't know where the YouTube thing was going to lead. I mean, in a perfect world, I would have started the YouTube channel and been some big YouTuber, which obviously I'm not some big YouTuber, but YouTube kind of just that path of YouTube led me to realize I liked Instagram. And by putting so much time and effort into Instagram, I was able to grow a following on there. And that following on Instagram has started to open up some opportunities for me. And it's, it, it, although it hasn't changed my life too much yet, it's at the point where my life is actually beginning to change in a very beneficial way, all because I took that first step. So like I said, I could have completely failed with this YouTube channel. I didn't know where it was going to go. And I wouldn't even say my YouTube channel is very successful. But just taking that first step did lead to opportunities. And I can't stress enough, if you have anyone telling you not to do something or you have a passion for something, you don't want to look back one day and realize you should have done it. You'll be much happier to know that you failed at it than you didn't even try. And that was my, that was my fear. My biggest fear was looking back and having regrets. And I did not want to have regrets, which is why I did that. So hopefully good things keep happening. I'll keep making videos. I'll keep posting on Instagram. And that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys. So the video is wrapping up here with this ab exercise. Uh, if you like the video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. I, I do appreciate that a lot. Um, hit that subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video.